Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary Shoe Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I have a collective haul. I have items from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and a store in Utah called Seagulls that I placed an online order with. So I'm going to start with Seagulls first. So I was really impressed when we were in Utah visiting family for Thanksgiving. Uh, my brother-in-law took us over there, and then later on I also went with my sister-in-law. And they're a bookstore, um, kind of a discounted bookstore for our church. And so I saw this uh, paper and uh, what it is, it's this here, you get these cards, all you have to do is tear them off and they're already scored. So all you have to do is fold them and they come in beautiful patterns, but these were $3 and I'm like, for all of this, I'm trying to find, oh, 24 sheets for all of that. And let me do a flip through. They're beautiful colors and like I said, all you have to do is tear them out of the booklet and they are already scored and I'm like wow how fast and easy will that make card making so I got two of those also got uh this is the bigger size I think this one is uh like a standard a2 size card four and a quarter by five and a half uh size this one is a lot bigger I think this is a five by seven size and you get 24 sheets here also for $2.99. Oh, actually, yeah, $2.99. And so I got, I ordered two of these. And then here are the patterns. Again, all you do is tear them out of this booklet because it's already um, perforated. And then it's scored right there down the middle where you can uh, fold your card. So I got two of those. For $3, I thought, wow. That is an amazing price and to have, uh, you know, that in my stash so I can make a quick card if I need to. I also got these, um, I think they're called journaling cards or card inserts, uh, I believe. And these were $2. And I got two of those. And I thought that is really, really cool. Again, for uh, card making, you know, just to make it quick and easy and fast, and I thought that was cool. So I got two of those. And that was my entire order from Seagulls. All right, Camille and I got together on Monday, and we went to Hobby Lobby. So what I purchased from Hobby Lobby are these stickers that have all these beautiful words on them. They have peace, rejoice, all Christmassy, and I actually found them in a random um aisle at the end of an aisle and I'm like oh I needed those because I ran out of these making my wood plaques uh this year so I got another one I've actually took one out so I've already dug into this pack so I got another pack of those and these were 50% off so these were uh half of that <laughs> so got that I saw these and I thought these were beautiful half of that um I I found this Christmas tree and I thought it would look so perfect in my kitchen because I have this pattern uh, of uh, plaid and color, color and, and pattern of plaid on my table runner. That's what my table runner is. And I'm like, perfect. So this was not very much at all. This was 50% of that right there. And I thought, it's cute, but it gave me an idea, and Camille and I were talking, we can make these. Now, this is made out of wire and then this material, but we were thinking we can make it out of cardstock and ribbon or material. And I thought, even if I make smaller ones, though, those would be kind of fun little Christmassy things to uh, give out to neighbors or friends or whoever. I think it would be so cute. Then, you know, you can get stickers or die cuts and, and make, uh, you know, your little trees out of that. And so I might... You know, of course, Christmas is just like next week at the end of the week. So uh, if I get around to it, I will bring that to you on, on 
either workshop Wednesday. <laughs> so I just thought it was a cute idea and I have some ideas for it. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll get around to it this year, but I will, I will, you know, we'll see what happens. So I thought that was kind of cute. The other thing I picked up, and these were 50% off too, were these beautiful cardinals. Now they are a salt and pepper shaker. Let me see if I can take them out of the box. Uh, they are a salt and pepper shaker, but I didn't get them for salt and pepper shaker purposes. I got them for my two-tier tray that I have in the craft room that I have all the patriotic little uh, decor stuff. Um, I have another little bird that's white and another one that's blue. And now the red ones can join those. Aren't they cute? They're beautiful. So I got those two. Oh, yeah, they, I was going to say I hope they stand, but I guess they do. So I'll put those on my two-tier tray. I think they're, they're cute, and they were 50% off, but I don't see the, I don't actually see the price tag on here, but I, I don't think they were very much at all. I think they were like a couple of bucks, so I was happy to find the red ones. I've been searching high and low at Hobby Lobby for a red bird to put on that two-tiered tray. The other thing I found, and I thought this was actually perfect. You know me and storage solutions and containers. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I have a sickness. Uh, so this storage container was on clearance for $8. And I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. The lid clips off on each side. So the lid comes off. And then you have this tray. And it has sections. It has this big section and then three little sections and it's not very deep it's pretty kind of shallow so that fits like right on the top part right there then underneath it you have all of these bins and they do come out individually so they're little well actually they're all different sizes you get six of the pink uh, one of the purple one in lime green and one in this turquoise now i saw this and i'm like immediately pokey tools or tassel making when i am putting together any of that i can keep all that here and then keep my project in here and then you know um when i'm ready to move on or i have to go do something else i can just close it all up and there is my project i don't have to put every single thing away or if i'm working on a specific um i don't know like like if i'm doing a bunch of uh, pokey tools and they're all Christmassy, i can get all the beads out and all the skewers and uh glue all of that keep it in here and then i can take it over to uh you know the living room if i want to work in there or whatever and it's all contained that's what i liked about it and i thought for eight dollars i thought that was bad I don't know what the original price was. I guess you can look it up online. But I thought that was pretty cool. And, of course, you know, another storage container to stay organized in the craft room. Yes, please. All right, Camille and I also went to Dollar Tree. I was actually after a couple of specific things. One, I really wanted to get some more of these containers. So I, you know, made cookies over the weekend. I made chocolate chip cookies, Reese's Pieces cookies, M&M cookies, and then my traditional New Mexican bizcochitos. And then I was sorting them out to different uh, people we want to deliver cookies to. And Jack was trying to take the lid off. I was trying to take the lid off. They, they seal super tight. Yeah, I'm going to get this off. <laughs> you kind of have to work around and uh, really pull. And they have this rubber seal on the lid. And I tell you, Jack was so impressed. He goes, if you see more, get some more so we can have for next year. Because you never know from year to year if they're going to have these things. So I went to Dollar Tree with Camille on Monday. And lo and behold, they had just put these out. Uh, probably the last of the season. And I got, I'm trying to think... Three of these with Santa, the penguin, the Christmas tree, the snowman. It's so cute. So I got three of these. I got three of the little red truck. 
and the Christmas tree and yeah I got three of this pattern so super cute and I got uh, two of the gnomes that's all they had two of the cute little gnomes I actually got I think I got four of the little red truck so all together I got nine of them and there were still some on the shelf but I'm gonna actually store these away for next year and then I don't have to worry about containers for cookies next year so I was happy to find that because that is specifically what I went in for then uh, there's some uh, ladies that I love giving uh, Christmas gifts to just a little something and so I wanted to find these hand and foot masks because I love them I use them and I really really do love them so uh, again went to Dollar Tree went down the aisle where they have all the uh, health care stuff and I'm like Yeet, they had them I was so happy because you never know so I bought six of this hand mask love it and then six of the foot mask so these make great little gifts for someone so I was really really happy to find that and of course, every time I go to Dollar Tree these days, because rumor has it that Dollar Tree is no longer going to be a dollar, it's going to be a dollar twenty-five. I don't know when that change is happening, but I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, of course, you know, dollar twenty-five isn't that bad, but of course, a dollar is a better deal for double-sided sticky tape. I use this a lot in card making and other projects. I love it, love it, love it. So I pick up, I picked up four. And uh, between now and whenever their prices change, I'm going to continue to pick up and stock up. Uh, so I picked up that. Also picked up, just for gift giving, this candy bar, not that I know personally, uh, this candy bar is absolutely the best uh, peppermint bark that you can find at Dollar Tree. And uh, I've bought some for friends in the past. Jack actually loves this peppermint bark. So I, uh, by some chance, found two, four, six bars, and that's all they had. So I picked those up to stick in gifts as well. So, yeah. Anyway, that is, I think, everything that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm looking around because every time I stop the camera, I'm like, oh man, there was something else. But no, it looks like, it looks like that is it. So that is my haul uh, so far. I might add another video if I go to Dollar Tree because I forgot to look for the rice and quinoa. I've tried it and it is amazing. So it's a quick little, um, you know, uh, rice dish you know, you can add chicken or whatever, and uh, it, it just comes out just perfectly, and all you do is pierce the, the plastic on the top and stick it in the microwave for a couple minutes, and I'm like, oh, I got to stock up, so I may go back uh, and check to see if they have any of that, and you never know, I might pick up some other little goodies, <laughs> so anyway, so far, that's all I have Jack right and now. I did end up going to Dollar Tree, so I'm going to include these items too. So anytime we find the splash in the six pack, we pick it up. This is the mandarin orange. We really like that. And then my favorite flavor is the Aussie grape. And they only had one on the shelf. Otherwise, I would have picked up a couple of more of those because that, that is my favorite. Also, speaking of favorite, I bought two bags of the Brim's White Cheddar Popcorn. Yes, another favorite. Uh, so much that I've already got into this pack. <laughs> I really, really do love this popcorn. It's really good. Jack picked up two boxes of the Country Time Lemonade. We both love that in our water. Um, so... We saw this on the shelf and it was 50 cents a can. Uh, normally the uh, Campbell's is a dollar a piece, but I thought I'd try it out because I love having cream of chicken soup. And that is a brand I had never seen. I don't know, uh, you know, why they were 50 cents because the expiration date is still 
it's good and it's good for a while. So uh, Jack looked at that, but I thought, huh, I'll try it. I love having cream of chicken soup at noon. Uh, sometimes I add a little bit of a little bit more chicken in it. All right. Uh, Jack does not like this next item at all, but I love it. <laughs> I have them for lunch when he's not home. <laughs> Uh, I'm talking about the sardines, and these ones are in Louisiana hot sauce. Oh, I love this. I love this. My dad and I used to have these uh, together when I was growing up, and uh, we just absolutely loved them. My mother hated them, so we had to eat them when she was not around. <laughs> oh, I guess you either love them or you hate them, so I love them. So... Uh, I found the Jurgens hand soap. This is my favorite hand soap. Uh, I keep this in our guest bathroom. I find that it it cleans well, it smells well, it rinses well, it leaves your hands feeling really, really great. A name brand. So I got two of the Jurgens hand soap. Um, and then I have used this for a couple of days now because I just hauled this. Um, and it, I bought two more of the oatmeal daily moisturizing lotion it is thick and creamy and i really love it so i bought two more because i don't know what's going on with my skin and i normally have dry skin but right now uh during winter time it is it is bad this year so i picked up two more of those tubes um let's see is this my last couple of items i'm going to double check yes um, what I picked up, and I'm so excited about this next thing I'm going to share. Um, our daughter and husband and grandkids are going to be coming for New Year's. Uh, this is kind of uh, recent news, and we're so excited. So, since we're having grandkids, I thought I'd buy them some coloring books so they can, uh, you know, have some fun time here. I think they have crayons. I'll check with their mom and make sure that she's got crayons. If not, another trip to Dollar Tree. So I got this coloring book, and I have two grandkids, so, um, you know, they're obviously not going to be able to color through all of that while they're here, but I thought I'd give them their own coloring book so uh, they can choose which ones they want. So I got two coloring books, and uh, Jack spotted these puzzles, and it's a 500-piece puzzle, and he thought that our grandson would love that. So, and, uh, so we picked that up for him. So we'll check. I'll check if they have crayons. If not, um, I'll go pick up some crayons and, and see what other little activity they might enjoy. All right, that's all I have for this combined haul uh, from, yeah, all those places. Because I don't remember what I said, because this is a day later. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for just a bit. I truly appreciate it. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.